balance and glow. This is your strengthen and flow class with myself, Jane, and the amazing Evelyn here. We're going to be taking you through 30 minutes of yoga and strength exercises. This session is focusing on the upper body. You're going to need one resistance band, yourself, and a mat. If you want to use any yoga props, you are more than welcome to, but they are not necessary if you do not need them. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to start with a little yoga flow just to get the body warmed up, just to open up the shoulders. So we're going to press down through the feet, come to stand, and just take a moment here to come to your Tadasana, your mountain pose. So really ground through the feet, feel nice and strong through the legs, and the arms just coming out to either side, spreading the fingers and opening through the palms. Just allow the shoulders to relax down. And just imagine that someone is almost pulling you up towards the ceiling from the crown of your head. Really think about someone with a little string drawing you up to making you stand a little taller today. We're going to take a lovely big deep breath in through the nose. And a big breath out through the mouth. Nice, soften the knees, take an inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand and reach up and over towards the side. So we're just taking a moment to find a little space through the side of the body today. As we inhale, bring it back through centre, switch, switch the arms and then take it up and over towards the opposite side. So just finding space through the side body as we start to warm up. Inhale, bring it all the way back to centre and as we exhale, let's take a fold all the way down towards the air, fingertips to floor. Relax the head and neck here, just soften the knees and give the hips a little sway from side to side. Just relax the head and neck down, you can give them a little shake, yes, a little shake, no. Nice, and then from here, just staying in that beautiful fold, keep nice and soft through the legs. And maybe the hands come behind as you interlace the fingers. Start to draw the hands a little further overhead. And maybe just gazing over one shoulder, gazing over the other. Just wiggling a little from side to side, maybe bending each one of the knees. Keep breathing. And then just bring yourself back to centre, allow those hands maybe to draw up a little further overhead. And then draw the hands down towards the lower back and fingertips come all the way back down towards the air. Let's find halfway, so hands to shins or thighs, gaze comes forward, heart lifts, nice long spine. As we exhale, take a fold and release. Inhale, we're going to reach all the way back towards the sky. So hands reaching, circling up. Palms together and exhale, hands towards heart centre. Soften the knees, inhale, reach up. Taking hold of the right wrist, reaching up and over to one side. Inhale, bring it back through centre, switch the hands, reach up and over towards the other side. Nice, inhale, back through centre and exhale, fold it all the way down. Inhale, find halfway this time, heart lifts, gaze forward. And then exhale, fold and release. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back and start to find your first downward facing dog. So bending each one of the knees, just start to paddle out through the feet, spread the fingers nice and wide and press the ground away. Give the head a little shake out. Again, nodding yes, nodding no. And then just come to a place of stillness. Let's take a full big deep inhale and a big releasing exhale through the mouth. Nice, as we inhale, we're going to step that right foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee and release the toes. Inhale, reach the hands high, finding your low lunge. Take a moment here, just guiding that left uh, thigh forward as we start to work into the hip flexors. As we exhale, we're going to draw the elbows wide.
wide, spread the fingers and find your cactus arms. So we're starting to open up through the chest and the heart, drawing the tips of the shoulder blades together. And inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, drawing elbows wide, find your cactus arms. This time we're gonna take the right arm over the left, wrap it around and find your eagle arms. So either palms together, backs of hands together, or you can just have the hands placed onto either shoulder if that feels any better for you. And just take a moment here to breathe as you draw the, the elbows away from you, creating space in between the shoulder blades. Take another lovely big deep breath. And then slowly release the hands. You're going to come all the way down either side of that front foot. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee. Step back. Find your downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a big breath out. When you're ready, stepping the left foot in between the hands. Drop the right knee. Release the toes. Inhale, low lunge. Take a breath here, just softening the shoulders. Make sure we're engaging the core so we're not allowing the ribs to flare out. And then as we exhale, elbows wide, find your cactus arms, open the chest and heart. Inhale, reach up high. And exhale, cactus arms. Taking the left arm over the right, wrap it round, find your eagle arms. Elbows drawing up and away as you begin to create space in between the shoulder blades. Take a moment here just to breathe. And imagine breathing from the front to the back of the body. So we're really creating space here. One more lovely big deep breath. And then exhale, release. Hands come all the way down. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Step back to your downward facing dog. Take a full inhale, big exhale, and then inhale, coming forward into your plank. So shoulders in line with the twists, hips in line with the knees, really nice and strong here as you engage that core. As you exhale, either lowering all the way down towards the earth or dropping the knees and coming all the way down towards the floor. Taking it through a vinyasa as you inhale, heart lifts, cobra. Exhale, release. From here, pressing up, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Big deep inhale, big releasing exhale. Nice, whenever you're ready, inhale, reach the right toes up behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, slowly drawing that knee towards the nose. Hold here for a breath, and then stepping that right foot through in between the hands. Engaging your core as you come all the way up to that high lunge, pressing down through the front foot, pressing out through that back heel. Softening the shoulders, smile, take a breath. Exhale, we're going to sweep the hands behind. You're going to start to shift the weight into the right foot as the left foot lifts off your mat, warrior three. Press away through that left heel. One breath here. And then softening through the right knee, reaching the left knee towards the chest as the hands reach up towards the sky. Exhale, elbows draw wide, cactus arms. Nice, inhale, reach it up. And exhale, float the left foot down, hands float towards the earth as we fold. Inhale, halfway. Gaze forward, exhale, fold. Stepping back, find your downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Option here to take it through another vinyasa, really lovely just for warming up the whole body, taking it through that plank, knees or coming all the way down. Inhale to cobra and exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Okay, other side, inhale, left toes reach up high. Exhale, drawing that left knee towards the nose. So lift the knee high. Take that left foot, step it in between the hands. Inhale, reach up. High lunge. Take a nice big deep breath. Again, engaging that core so we're not flaring out through the ribs here. Softening the shoulders. 
Exhale, take the hands behind. Start to float into your warrior three. Coming, bringing a little weight onto the left foot. Right heel reaches out behind, nice and long. From here, taking the right knee towards the chest. See if you can float it high. Exhale, elbows draw wide, cactus arms. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, float the right foot down, hands come down and fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Soften the knees, inhale, reach the hands high. Palms together. Exhale, hands draw through the heart center. And over to ebb. Excellent team. So if you want to grab yourselves your long resistance band, we're going to come down onto our mats. We're going to place that band just around the soles of the feet. And then you can change the resistance based on how close you have your hands towards the feet. So you can shimmy those hands down the band. You then want to sit nice and upright. So we're not in a rounded position, we're pushing the chest through. Then all you do is drive those elbows back, okay? So those elbows want to push past the ribs, have a little pause before slowly releasing, okay? So nice and strong towards you, and then a slow release. So we're going to go in three, in two, in one. All right, so you can see Jenny's sitting nice and tall. She's going to add a little pause just to hold it there, good, and then slowly release. Nice. So like I said, you can make it harder by moving those hands further down. You've got 10 more seconds. We are going to do this exercise three times, so you can change the resistance as we move through the rounds. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Well done. So we're going to come up to stand. We're going to hold that band. You can double it up if you want to. It's going to start just in front of our shoulders. And then all you're going to do is press up and then slowly back down, okay? So three, two, one, so all the way up, good, and all the way down. So make sure you from the side, notice that all that's moving are my arms. So you can create a little bit of resistance as you pull, push the band up, you can pull that band apart a little bit more, good. That's it, nice. Starting to fill up through the arms now. Hi Lou Jenny. Good. Good. She's still smiling. <laughs> Five seconds. Nice. Three, two, and one. Good work. We're next going to work the biceps, okay? So you're going to place your feet on the band. So you want to be in the middle of the band. You want to put the band in between the hands and your palms are going to space away from you. And we're then going to just curl those hands up towards our shoulders, okay? So three, two, and one. We curl up, and then we slowly release. Good. So don't let it just ping back. That's it. Nice. Now if it's too um, tense, you can take one foot out. So that's going to loosen the band up, and you can also kind of move your hands further up the band as well. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Well done. Next one. We're going to bend over for some T flies. So I'll show you from the side. So you're going to push your bum back, nice flat back. And then when we're in this position, all you do is extend those arms away from one another, okay? So start with your hands just outside the shoulder width, distance apart. Nice flat back. We'll go in three, two, and one. So pull those hands away and then slowly release. It looks simple, this one. I'm not going to feel that really. <laughs> That's it, good. So engage through the core. You want to just be looking like slightly ahead in your mat. So we're not um, straining the neck at all here. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, and one. Well done. Last exercise then. So we're back into standing on the band. I'm going to go for some tricep kickbacks. So again, we're going to go into that similar hinge position. And then all we do is just pull those arms back behind us, okay? Working the triceps. Three, two, one. So push that bum back, that's it. And then arms come behind you. So pull behind, that's it, rather than a row. That's it. And back. Nice. Again, it feels or looks like a simple move. But you start to feel this one quite quickly in the tricep. So oh, that's it. Good. <laughs> Five seconds. 
three, two, and one. Well done. So you've got 30 seconds rest, and we're going to go back into that first exercise. So if you want to come down sitting on your mat, placing a band around the soles of the feet. That's it, good. Then we're sitting up nice and tall. We're just going to brush those elbows past the ribs in three, two, and one. So draw it back, pause, and then release. That's it, good. Don't forget that pause. Well done. A little bit of synchronisation going on. Jenny's looking nice and tall in her seated position. Ten seconds here. Good. We've got five, three, two, and one. Good work. Coming up to stepping. So next one, we've got that overhead press. So you can double up the band if you want a little bit more resistance. Starting at shoulder width distance apart, we're going to go up in three. Two and one, so we press up and we come back down. That's it, good. Nice team. Looking strong. Some lovely synchronization going on. <laughs> Ten seconds. Good. Five. Three. Last few. Two and one. Well done, you can rest Ooh. there. Time for those bicep curls. So standing on the band. Again, if it's too tight, the distance wise, just place one foot in. You've got your palms facing you and you're going to draw up, standing nice and tall. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So we curl and release. That's it. Good. So nice and slow. On that lowering phase, that's it. Get 10 seconds. Nice, we've got five. Three, two, and one. Good effort there, well done. <laughs> and we're next on to our bent over T fly. So soft knees, push your bum back. Your hands are just outside shoulder width distance apart. And then we're pulling those arms apart and then slowly release. Okay, we'll go in three, two, and one. So out to the side and release. Good. So again, like those curls, you want to control it on the way back. Good. Don't let those arms ping back. Nice. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Looking strong, team. That's it. Nice positions. Five seconds. Three, two. And one, well done. So just Ooh. last one there, well done. We're going to stand on that band and we've got those tricep kickbacks. So we start with those soft knees, we push the bum back and then we're just sending those arms behind us and back in, okay? Three, two, and one. So arms go back, that's it, yes, well done. Nice, looking slightly ahead, nice and controlled. Bringing it. The backs and the arms, well done. We've just got one more round to go to. Good. Well done, you've got five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Oh, well done, <laughs> good work. One more round. So let's come back to seated. You've got that 30 seconds before you can go. Placing the band around the soles of the feet. We're going to draw those elbows back. Nice, tall, seated position. We've got 10 seconds, team. Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> Five seconds then. Three, two, and one. So pull back, release. Good. Let's add a little pause, and then release. Good. Nice. 15 seconds. Well done, 10 here. That's it, good. Keeping those shoulders down. Three, two, and one. Well done. Coming up to standing, we've got that overhead press. Again, 
option to double loop that band. Placing the band to our shoulders, we go in three, two, and one. We press up, we come back down, good. So our head is through at the top, nice. I want you to kind of push through the ground so you've got a nice solid base. Feel that connection. That's it, get it 10 seconds. Five, almost there, well done team. Three, we'll get one more in, two, and one. Ooh, well done. Yeah. Bicep curl. So, standing on the band, we're going to stand nice and tall. Our palms are facing up towards us. Here, we'll go in three, in two, in one. Let's go. So, curl, slowly release. That's it. All that should be moving is those arms. There's no little movement through the hips here. Three, two, and one. Good work. Taking the band. You want your hands just outside shoulder width, distance apart. Soften knees, hinge at the hips, push the bum back. That's it. So you can bring those arms down a little bit lower. That's it. Good. And then we're pulling that band apart in three, two, and one. So we pull apart, we release. That's it. Good. Um, so relax through those shoulders, make sure they're not shrugging up towards the ears. Don't worry, this is the last time doing this exercise, I know it's a tough one. Good, five seconds, really working that upper body today. Three, two, and one. Well done, last exercise then. Standing on the band, we're going to do that hinging motion again, so we have those soft knees. Push the bum back, nice flat back, and then all we're doing is taking those arms behind us and back, okay? Three, two, and one. Send it behind and release. Good. Nice. Good team, looking strong. That's it, nice job. 10 seconds. Good, you've got five. Three, two, and one. Slowly release from that band, placing the band down to the mat. I want to come into a comfortable seated position. Okay, so taking the shoulders up towards the ear, let's just give the shoulders a few nice little shrugs and rolls back. So just drawing those shoulders towards the ears, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Three or five rolls here. Nice, just to kind of loosen everything out again. You've been working really hard. And then sliding the right hand away from you, reach the left fingertips up and overhead, finding a little stretch through the side of the body. So soften through that right elbow. Take a moment here. Nice, from here, let's sweep the left hand all the way out in front of you, right hand follows. And then left hand comes down towards the earth. Right fingertips reach overhead, find that sort of step <coughs> on the other side. So just grounding down through that right sit bone. As we inhale, bring our hands all the way up. Palms together, exhale, hands towards heart center. Just bring the hands behind, interlace the fingers. Maybe the palms draw together, shoulder blades draw together. Just open up through the chest and heart. Maybe the chin can tip towards the sky if that feels good. Nice, and then exhale, release, chin back to centre. The hands are going to come onto the knees. Let's take an inhale in, lift the heart and chest. Shoulder blades draw back. Open heart and exhale, round through the spine. Let the chin dip towards the chest. Find that little stretch through the back of the neck. Nice, inhale, open up. Exhale, release. One more, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, just 
bring yourself back to center, swing the legs round to one side and come onto all fours. Okay, we're gonna come up into a downward dog, but a little bit more of a restorative one to kind of end this session. So spread the fingers wide, palms grounded, feet as wide as your mat, and then lifting the tailbone high. So just give yourself a little bit of time to stretch out. Looking under one armpit, looking under the other. Maybe bending the knees slightly here. And then just bring yourself back to centre. Relax the head and neck, so give it a little wiggle out. And then we're going to take that right foot and step it to the outside edge of the right hand. Drop the left knee and release the toes. So a little variation on our little pose today, just walking the hands across to the left corner of our mat. So draw the hips back as you reach the fingertips away. Relax the head and neck here. Just take three lovely big deep breaths. Nice, slowly as we inhale, walk yourself all the way back to centre. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee and then walk your hands round to the long edge of your mat. Turn the feet in, finding a fold here as you release the head and neck. Hands just down towards the air. Big wide fold. Maybe the hands come to opposite elbow, just let everything hang here like a little rag doll. Again, you see with the head a little shake out, the arms a little wiggle out. And then just releasing the hands down towards the air. Nice. We're going to bring the right hand just to the centre of the mat underneath your nose and take the left hand to your lower back. Start to open up through that left shoulder, just finding a nice twist. Maybe the left hand reaches up if that feels good. Otherwise, the left hand can stay on the lower back to keep those hips nice and level. Take a breath here. And then exhale, release. Floating to the other side, left hand to centre of mat, right hand comes to your lower back, opening up through the right shoulder. Maybe the right fingertips reach. Take a breath. And then exhale, float it down, finding that lovely fold. We're going to walk the hands towards the front of the mat, turn the toes, step back, and again, just find that wider downward dog. So, Give yourself a moment here. Let's take a big, deep inhale through the nose. And a big, full exhale through the mouth. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the right knee and release the toes. So same thing here, walking the hands away off the right corner of your mat. Drawing the hips back. Maybe you want to turn that left foot just a little off your mat. Just taking a few moments here. With each exhale, just feel that little bit of release. Nice, and then as we inhale, lift the forehead, walking the hands back towards you. We're gonna tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and again, turn towards the long edge of your mat. Finding that fold again. Releasing the hands down towards the earth. Release the head and neck. Let it go. And maybe this time you can bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, and draw the palms together as you let the hands fall a little further overhead. Again, a little wiggle from side to side. Don't be afraid to move here. You don't have to be totally static. And then when you're ready, release the hands to the lower back and fingertips come all the way down towards the air. Walk the hands back towards the front edge of your mat. Nice. From here, drop the back knee. Walk the hands to the front edge of your mat. From here, we're just going to step the right foot forward and come all the way down onto your mat. 
Reach the hands out in front and let's lower ourselves down towards the air, keeping that little bit of core control. And when you reach, in, reach the air, just let out a lovely big deep sigh, release the arms. <sighs> just feel the spine reconnect with the earth. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. Just hugging in here for a moment or two. And then drawing the knees towards the nose. Take a moment to hug into a little ball. As you exhale, release. We're going to release the hands overhead this time. Reach out the feet in front of you. Give yourself a really nice big, big stretch. On your next exhale, just soften into the ground beneath you. So just by keeping those hands above the head, we can create a little bit more space through the front of the body. Take a few moments here. Allow the eyes to close. Let the ground come to meet you today. And with each breath out, just take these last few moments to soften and release. If you've got time, you can stay here for a little bit longer. And whenever you're ready, just starting to wiggle the fingers and toes. Bring awareness back to your breath. Slowly bringing that movement to arms and legs. Take a stretch out, take a hug in. A little rock, arm to one side. And then slowly bringing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Just keep the eyes closed here for a moment. Hands just resting, palms facing up on the knees. Let's let all that beautiful energy and warmth we've created just radiate through the body here. When you're ready, take a big deep inhale in, reach the fingertips towards the sky. Palms come together and exhale, hands draw towards heart center. Let's finish this practice with one big releasing breath. So when you're ready, take a deep inhale through the nose, fill up through the body. And a big breath out as you release. Thank you so much for practicing with us today. Namaste.